Check this one out. Let's get to the terrifying. Right back to the terrifying. From the, from the fun and the weird and the flying saucer shaped stuff, right back to the terrifying. Now, this is from, uh, again, thank you to Dwayne Dibley for teaching me how to get around the paywalls. If you want to know how to do that, uh, just uh, slap it in this archive.vn and it'll, uh, it'll uh, parse it and uh, give you an archive version and you don't have a paywall. But anyway, so this is from, uh, like I said, Golf Today. Golf Today. And uh, Dubai police crack murder case using brain fingerprint technology. Uh-huh. All right. What the hell does that mean? The officers used the smart analysis device that measures the brain waves when the suspect sees the images of the tools used in the crime or the location and provides a thorough image of the crime scene. All right. Now listen to this. Regarding the details of the murder case in which the Dubai police used the memory print technology, Lieutenant Colonel Muhammad Isa Al-Humadi confirmed that the case was a murder in a warehouse where several people work. All right. Fair enough. I mean, tragic, of course, but fair enough. We, we get the, uh, the details here. Uh, so, murder in a warehouse. Then, Hamadi said that the police showed pictures of the crime scene to those present at the place, and there was one person whose brain emitted strong waves when he was shown a tool used in the crime. Hmm, interesting. Hamadi said that police experts have carefully selected the photos so that they are related to the incident and that only those people will identify the images who were present or were involved in the crime. Yeah, right? Right? All right. How does this make you feel? <laughs> I was like, uh, no, <laughs> no, double no. Uh, okay. So what if, uh, I'll read just a little bit more and then I'll start with the what ifs here. Um, because this is important, right? When we're talking about removing people's liberty, we're talking about things like this. Uh, new, new contraptions may sound great, but, uh, would, uh, would you want to, would you want to be in jail because the, the machine said you did, did the thing, whether you did the thing or not. Uh, so, Hamadi said when the sessions ended, the agency issued a detailed report to the experts about the identity of the criminal who confessed to the details of the crime and the way he planned it. The success came after the forensic psychology experts and the Department of Criminology were able to apply the memory fingerprint to their work tasks uh, and, and conducted many experiments for a year. The use of this type of brain imaging will help police in their tasks and speed up the process of identifying the perpetrators of the crime and presenting evidence to the judicial authorities to achieve justice. Dun, dun, dun. Achieve justice, right? That's always about achieving justice, especially when they want to do whatever it is they want to do. But uh, mm, I'm not so sure about this one. Uh, brain fingerprint technology. All right, so... Uh, where is where to begin? Where where to begin with this one? Uh, actually, so I, I looked it up. I wasn't sure because I was like, no, come on, this is not real, is it? Like this is this is totally not real. Where is it? Where I had another I had another article here. Uh, here we go. This is oh, this is from Wikipedia from the Ministry of Truth, and I thought, okay, there's no freaking way, right? There's no freaking way. Brain fingerprinting is a thing. Well, apparently, it's a thing. Brain fingerprinting, according to Wikipedia, is a lie detection technique which uses electroencephalography electroencephalography if i said that right to determine whether specific information is stored in a subject's brain the technique consists of measuring and recording a person's electrical brain waves and brain response when asked questions about a crime attempting to elicit a p300 response that indicates familiarity with the details of the crime the technique is controversial no shit, <laughs> unproven, and of questionable accuracy. Ah, therein lies the rub. Questionable accuracy. Comparison of brain fingerprinting with polygraphy showed, uh, polygraphs like regular lie detectors, showed mixed results consistent with a mix of proven techniques and dangerously exaggerated benefits. All right. Even, even the Ministry of Truth is crapping on this. But, uh, okay, so... I don't know. Like, so if you have a, a particularly, I don't know, let's say you're a, you're a, I don't know, let's say, uh, let's say, you, you know, you, you hate violence. Let's say, you know, you're a peacenik. Let's say you, you absolutely abhor it, 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 it to your very core. 
and then they, they show you the murder weapon and your brain freaks out, right? Um, is that enough to say you did it? <laughs> I mean, I, I would hope they have better, better, you know, better, better overall evidence than just stuff like this, but this is a little bit terrifying, right? Like, uh, you know, the brain fingerprint technology. And so uh, the thought police, right? Like this actually becomes literally the thought police based on like your, as you would say, like a, like a, an emotional reaction to uh, a, a crime scene or murders or whatever, right? Like uh, murder weapons or whatever the hell it is. I don't know. Like there's some people, right? Where do you pull out a gun? Uh, and I don't mean like pointing at them. I mean, you know, like, in, in, like let's say you're cleaning a firearm and it's everything's safe and everything's good. But people... Uh, see that just the firearm and they, their heart rate goes up, right? Like they, they freak out because, you know, they've never been around a firearm. So, you know what I mean? Like there's, everybody's different. And so to, to, to line them up in, in front of this machine and try and say that, uh, uh, <laughs> whoa, you know what I'm getting at. This is, this is not justice guys. This is not justice is what I'm saying. But anyway, just, uh, just, uh, curiously, uh, looking at and thinking about this brain fingerprinting is apparently a thing. And they say that in Dubai that, uh, justice was had because they were able to track down the individual who committed the murder in the warehouse based on this brain scanning technology thing. Yeah. How does that make you feel? 